Good morning. All right, we're out here Saturday morning. We've got a busy day, busy day. Um, one of the jobs we got going on, we're going to pour three DOT entrants. Uh, we've done them before. Uh, since then, they came up with some changes to the neighborhood. The sidewalk I'm on, um, it was put in by the development behind us. Big development going on. So in the agreement to let them run the big sidewalk and all that, we agreed to change from a 10 foot radius to a 25 foot radius on these entrants uh, to help the traffic flow and all that. So here we are, we're Saturday morning, we're getting ready to show it. So let me show you how you do a DOT entrance. All right, on the DOT entrance, first right there. That's their road. And you have to cut all the way through that. Um, you can't cut part of the way and then bust it. They don't go for that. Then you have to drill right there and you have to put the pegs in. Then you have to put the uh, dowels in with the sleeves over it. Okay, you can either go a dowel and poxy it in or you can go like a three-quarter dial and a three-quarter hole and drive it in. Either way is acceptable. Then you have, with the plastic sheets, that's so if the concrete slabs move, it gives it a way to slide on there. Um, that's required at all the DOTs. Of course, rebar, since it's a driveway, um, it's going to be number five. Gonna have the curb over there. The guys are gonna pour and shape the curb by hand. We're not gonna use a curb machine on this one. Um, you got the grade beam down at the bottom. You got right here, all dialed in. The suspension joint right here. You can see it has dial. This is actually redwood. This stays in there when it's over with. Got it back here too. Two little dials in there. Uh, I like the bigger ones. You can tell they got by a little, little there. That's going to be a big old development back there. First truckload of the day. Down there, you see that farm beam starting to fill up, and that's undercut up under the road about 10 inches. So that concrete's going to go under and fill all the way up against that flat. It's going to make a ledge. So when you have all that traffic coming in and out, it just don't break apart.
while the guys are getting ready. Sights and sounds of the job site. That clunk in there is a no-no. It needs to mix up more. Job's done. Got that in. Got that in. Looks good. Um, job flight looks. Boy, a mess to clean up out here. Okay, that finished up that job. And not, this out here is not the way I really wanted to show you how to do the DOT cuts. Uh, job site looks a little messy. Uh, some of this mess is ours, some of this mess ain't. There's two construction companies here that working their way down, plus a line company. So we all got a mess out here. So next week, we're gonna have to clean this up. This ain't how we, we, we don't normally do it like this, but the concrete's done, it looks good. We got it all in. We did the DOTs, we got them the 25 foot radius. So if you ever wonder what you had to do to do a DOT entrance cut, that's what we that's what we had to do. That's how we do it. Uh, we seem to pass inspection with them, have a good rapport with them. Um, they, you know, once they get to know you, they know you have to do the right thing. So we're gonna wrap this video up with the concrete pour for the DOT cuts. Um, and how about doing me a favor? Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Let, let, let YouTube know I'm doing something right. Okay, y'all, have a good one.